Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. There's been a bit of a fallout between head teachers and Education Secretary Jenny Gilruth over smartphones. On May the 22nd, an edict came forth from the SNP government telling head teachers they wanted to ban smartphones from the te- from the classrooms. And then the head teachers have had to have this meeting and they told Jenny Gilruth, "Are you mad?" Um, because there are certain things within the curriculum that you need access to the internet for. And not everyone has got a laptop or a tablet or anything like that, or a Chromebook. And so they use their phones. And in fact, the situation is so bad with a lack of resources that head teachers are actually telling the children to bring in and use your own device. Bring your own device. And what they're saying as well is that the problem there is some people have got little basic model devices. Some people have got the latest iPhones and kids being kids. There's a little bit of uh, tech bullying going on. And indeed, there's some children whose parents are so badly off, they can't actually afford to have a smartphone. And the government needs to come in and step in and do something about that. Now, of course, this problem has arisen partially because Jenny Gilruth hasn't got a clue what she's doing, but also the fact that a previous uh, a previous hel- uh, uh, education secretary promised everybody that all the kids will either have a tablet, a Chromebook, uh, or a laptop, or some such device, some way of getting online in order to do this work. That man, of course, was John Swinney. And so here we have this marvellous fail that uh, Jenny Gilruth says, do this. The head teachers say, we can't. And she says, why? And you say, because Swinney is an idiot. Swinney makes promises, breaks his promises and lies and destroys the chances of kids getting on because they don't have the tech. Good one, John. Yet again, screwing kids. Only this time, not the usual way. Nothing can be done. We have to vote these people out. And in 2026, you have this chance to make sure that kids aren't having their futures destroyed by an inept and stupid government. Thanks very much. Bye.